Welcome back fellow gamers to another video brought to you by All Crew Gaming. In this video we're going to be doing the Torpedo Factory in Z1. As you can see we're on this southwest road that runs by the Torpedo Factory. The route we take we go into this side door right here as you can see. Um, I know there's like a lot of routes in and out of this this uh, Torpedo Factory but this is the route that uh, Sir Paragon uh, has shown me. Now we've been here several times prior to this video and we've only done part of the uh, torpedo factory like basically the quick part of the loop but there is more to it and sir paragon's going to take the lead in this video and we're going to try and get all the loot areas for your pleasure so uh, without any more delays let's get into it right so get yourself through that door the door we just came in take your turn to right and over here, your first right, this first room here, you got your first five lockers. Rarely any zombies or anything in here, so they're a piece of cake to get into. And if you just want a quick loot, just come here, loot this place and leave. No risks. As you can see, I'm right. in these tables. Sometimes you get lucky and get like advanced lock picks and screwdrivers and such. So it's worthwhile just popping in and seeing if there is any. We've not done bad for loot today. Another M24 there. M249 oh. even, sorry. Can't complain. Hmm. Damn pretty fast, so won't bother taking those. Nine mil, none of that. Are they not worth everything? Proof Can't remember, to be honest. But we're going to be getting more guns, so we need all the space we can save. Right, okay, that's everything then. Right then. So once that room's done, take a left out and head towards this doorway here. Now, you want to keep an eye on that mech that you can see down there. You either go left or right, once he's gone one way or other, make your way across into this building here. Now if you want this a storage room in here, sometimes you can get some screwdrivers and stuff. But we're not going to be getting that. We're going to make our way straight to the right. Towards the mech here. Uh, uh, I should say we could run across... Yeah, go, 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 go. He's walking away, whether he's to left or to right. Can make a quick run straight in this building, straight to the right, and up these ladders straight away. One second, I'll find a zombie. These ladders here. Oh. You get some C4, uh, some bombers spawning in on the ground floor as soon as you come in. Uh, if you get to the ladder straight away, you can usually avoid them. Do be careful, because once you get up to level here, you can have zombies and bombers that need to be taken care of. Oh. We run over to the next set of ladders. Straight up towards... Oh, there's about 10, 15 lockers here. Yeah. And it looks like someone's been here very recently. Oh, he's looting them now, the fuck, the bugger. So as you can ah. see, it's, a, it's a, uh, a good zone to loot. We've already got another guy on our server looting. So as you can see... The lockers are here. We'll probably leave this guy to these lockers and head to the next area now from here. Yeah. So we don't want to be that guy that steals loot, but as you can see, we like you follow the path we've, we've come, and there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lockers here, as Paragon said. Just wanted to show you. When it comes to the zombies and stuff like that, as Paragon says, they can spawn on every level just use your own awareness and your your server settings that you play in um to to you know kill the zombies or deal with them so as you can see we came back down the way we came up and now this is where normally i would leave it's like this is the the quick loot route that i would normally take but paragon's going to show us now where to go for extra loot so we'll make our way over this way and head towards the water at the back here. Follow you, follow along this dock, and at the end of the train here, 
Just have a little peek around and see if you can see the mech. If he's not there, make your way over. Okay. He's going to turn to his right in a second and he'll be looking right at us. Crouch down, Zip. We want him to make his... He'll come towards us and then he'll turn off to our left from our point of view. And then it'll be time to run. And what we're going to be doing is, um, you'll see, we'll follow this dock around. We'll go under that crane to the right, the first one. And then through a train, and that building that's behind the crane there, there's going to be a little seat, uh, a little door inside the building. We'll be going through there, and then in that building there's another six lockers. Okay, time to go. Yep. And it's relatively safe running through this area. If you do get spotted, there's, a, there's enough things to hide behind and run. You know, to, if you wanted to continue moving, there's a lot of things you can use as uh, cover. So. So in here, I rarely get any spawns, but you run straight across from him over to this hang a bit here, and it is he's not looted. It's so perfect. As you can see, I got a four of four lockpick there. That's why I like to loot these like tables and stuff. You want me to pick lock now? Is that what's up? Oh, I need to craft some more bobby pins. Okay. Some more lock picks. Okay. on the floor what we've got there Some more guns bow binoculars ammo holsters the usual I need me to start putting stuff in my backpack now um yep looks like it yeah There we go. Right. On to the okay. next. Once this room is done, we head back out the same way where we came in. And we're just going to cut straight across the left side of this crane here, and we want to go down the right side of the building that's in front of us, that big warehouse. Run along the docks here. Now, to get around this fence, get yourself to a nice slow walk, walk against the fence, and just face the building and push right, and you should slide around it. Now, you do fall into water, take all your clothes off and everything, there's some ladders here, and then recover your stuff one at a time. If you are having issues here, though, and you do keep falling off, you can go through the building, but there will be zombies. As you heard, there's a C4, like a, an exploder oh. in there, so... But if you yeah. can master that little bit of a walk around that, it saves you a lot of hassle. I think I heard a car, so we might have to hurry up to loot here. Mm -hmm. So, as you've seen that path set just done there, follow that path round straight onto the ladders. And if you're quick... All the zombies that spawn in that car courtyard behind us, um, often including bombers and stuff, you can avoid them. And then here you've got another six chests, I believe. Two down below and two upstairs. Three, yeah? Uh, three below, three upstairs, yeah.
So how many is that in total then? Do we count? Six. Six here. Thirteen in the main loot room. Was the five in the one we've just been to? Uh, there was six in the one we've just been to. So that's six. Twelve plus the thirteen makes twenty-five plus the initial five as we come in. It was five in the very first room, yeah. yeah. So it's a lot of loot in here, guys. If you if you get get the route route down, and it's it's good loot as well. Really good loot. I mean, here on this server, the spawnings. I don't know. I think it's a times three or something. But I reckon even on normal settings, um, it's good loot here. Then we just go upstairs to the next one. Wow, struggling with this one. What the? <laughs> I just failed the rusty lock. It was not having it. I'm out of screwdrivers. Yeah, I'll drop you have to get one. that last one. Three uses in that one. You might fit it all on you. Yeah, yeah, got it. All right, so my backpack's full. My backpack. Your both backpacks are full, are they? Both backpacks are full. I've got yep. a VSS and an M1 rifle on me. Some light boxes of ammo and loose ammo as well. Me, my backpack is empty, completely empty. But it would have been full if we could have got that loot room. Yeah, over there. There's the, the thirteen <laughs> lockers that we skipped, but there's a lot yeah. of loot in there, guys. So. All right, just take your time down there, don't fall into the water. And just to get down, we'll do a little cheesy long building, shall we? Okay, and then to get out of here, you can either go through the warehouse, or we can do the same trick as what we done earlier on. Does it work around this one? Yep, works too, around this one as well. Too scared to check this one because it don't look like there's a lot of room, but let's see. Okay, so as you saw, Paragon did it. I'm going to attempt it. So you, you scroll down, saw your characters at a steady walk, kind of edge your angle so you're facing the building, and you just sneak around like that. Oh, you'll have a bot here somewhere to the left. Oh. I think if you just run behind these, like... Right, we can go. Yeah, you can use all this cover to get out of here. Yeah, usually you can run for it whether he's there or not. And we're out. Now this run, you can do it both ways, depending on which way you come in. You can park around there, you can park this side, you can run it both ways. So we're just going to have a quick short run to our car. Blend yeah. it there. Yeah, but like as Paragon says, it depending on what suits you best and how you like to do it. Um, you can park at this side and go backwards, or, or it would be backwards from how we do it, or you can park how we do and run through this way. Simple, nice and easy. Um, again, thank you, Paragon, for for leading. I I didn't know those no last last two zones where those were, so that that's a learning curve for me as well. And I hope it helps everybody else that's watching. So thank you all for watching. If you like what you've seen, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.